Welcome to Chapter 3, Lesson 12. In this video, we are going to work on interpreting the remainder. And that will help us determine when we can leave the remainder and when we need to either round the remainder up or down. For example one, it says a state park has 257 evergreens to plant equally in nine areas. How many evergreens are planted in each area? What does the remainder represent? So to solve this problem, we need to divide 257 by 9. So first, 9 does not go into 2, so you can write your x, your 0, or just know to move over to 25. 9 goes into 25 2 times. 9 times 2 is 18, so we subtract 25 minus 18. That leaves us with 7. When we bring down our 7, we have 77. 77 divided by 9 does not come out equally, but we know that 9 times 8 equals 72. So we can subtract 77 minus 72 and get 5, so our remainder is 5. Now to interpret the remainder of 5, it means there are 5 evergreens left over. So the park is going to plant 28 evergreens in each of the areas and then they're going to have five left over that are not going to be planted in one of those nine areas. Okay, Let's move on to example two. It's going to give us a little bit of a different type of problem and help us see when it is necessary to take the remainder off. It says there are 174 guests invited to a dinner. Each table seats eight guests how many tables are needed. So we are going to divide 174 by 8. Okay. Once again, 8 does not go into 1, so you need to move over to the tens place. 17 divided by 8 doesn't work out equally, but we know that 8 times 2 is 16, so we can subtract 16, bring down our 4, 8 goes into 14 one time, subtract 8, and we are left with a remainder of 6. Alrighty, so this question is much different than example 1, so we need to answer it in a different way. It asks us how many tables are needed. The remainder of 6 means that there are 6 guests left over, which is not enough for a full table of 8, but they still need a table for those six people to set at. So we have 21 tables that are full, plus one more table for the extra six guests, which means that we have 22 tables that are needed. So think about it, you can't have part of a table to fit these six people, so we have to round up and add one more whole table to our 21. Alrighty, for your own practice today, I would like you to go ahead and try one, two, three, and four. Now these might be a little bit difficult since this is the first time we've worked on interpreting remainders, but do your best and tomorrow in class we will go over them and answer any questions that you have. 